Hey, good morning. This is Alan Buchanan, and I provide location advice to owners and occupants of industrial buildings in Southern California. And welcome to another edition of this Tuesday Traffic Tip. This week, once again, brought to you by the good folks at Client Look. However, this week, not brought to you by the Palatial Studios, also known as the front seat of my car. Hey, today I want to talk to you about criticism and how specifically to handle criticism if you're the recipient of criticism. As many of you know, uh, I blog, I write a column in the Orange County Register, I do Tuesday traffic tips, so I am out there and I am definitely subject to uh, criticism. So how should you take it if someone is critical? Well, I have to tell you that um, for all the years I've been doing Tuesday traffic tips and writing and blogging and whatnot, I can count on one hand the number of times that, that folks have been critical. So I guess that's, uh, that's the good news. But uh, I generally do a couple of things. I consider the source. If it's someone that I respect, then I take it very, very seriously. And I also um, really try to dive in and figure out exactly the perspective of the person that is making the criticism. Because a lot of times, uh, the more it hurts, the more truthful it is. And also, a lot of times, if you will take the criticism and as it's intended, which is to help make a point, uh, you end up being better as a result. So consider the source, figure out how badly it hurts, and then try to learn from the criticism. That's my three-step process to how you handle uh, criticism. And if you don't want criticism, just simply uh, don't put it out there because that's the easiest way not to be criticized. This is Alan Buchanan saying make it a great week on Tuesday Traffic Tips.